uh, to begin with, to begin with, the reason to crash, the reason of crash is because of Tabby's balance. To make him more balanced, maybe we should take off his head. Hold on, I can't, I can't, I can't without water. And throw it on the ground! Okay, anyways. Uh, what? M Master, please spare my head! It's okay, Tabby. Uh, it's only, uh, it's only you that I can ask such a thing. I love you, Taffy. Taffy, this is an abusive relationship. You need to get out of here. It's not worth it. Granny, uh, Randy said so as he gave Taffy a hug and rubbed his cheek, uh, on Taffy's. No Taffy. No! No Taffy! <laughs> Master! Taffy, no! You're in, you're in the cycle, Taffy. Taffy looked so happy as he smelled sweetly, and a blush came over his face. Oh, poor Taffy. I know. I swallowed the words that were about to come out of my mouth. If he's happy, let him be. And let me get some water. Uh, then happy. Let me have that head of yours. Uh. Soon Happy's eyes filled with tears again. However, it's you, Master. I cannot give you my head. Happy screamed and started to run away. Oh, uh, wait, Happy. Uh, hey! Ugh. Not having time to stop them, they were gone. Aww. Randy! Seems, uh, seems he's kind of an ordinary guy. But I felt relaxed and comfortable talking with him. It would be nice to see you again. I should be going, uh, I should be going now too. Just when I turned back, I felt something unusual in my pocket. Uh, I put my hand in my pocket and my fingers tap. And my finger tap touching something hard. What is it? Uh, I took it out and it happened to be a school envelope. Huh? Mine? However, I had my envelope on my chest. Hmm, that's strange. Whose is it then? Maybe it's Randy's. I'll keep it for now. Uh. Yummy! Do you know what time it is now? Oh, sorry, ma'am. After that, I was totally lost, and the sun had already sunk. When I finally arrived at the dorm, from now on, you are a student of Gitaloon Royal Academy. You're get your act together, young lady. <laughs> I really don't know about her voice. Understood. I just arrived, and already I'm getting yelled at. I'll have you follow the rules here at the dorms, young lady. Sure, I'll be careful. Well then, even enough for today. You're tired, aren't you? Go to your room. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Her roommate is reading, so do you try to get along. Roommate? I wonder what she's like. Well then, we can get some rest. The house mother's angry face was replaced with a comfortable one. 
looks like the house mother's actually a nice person. Ugh. Since she got a she, she uh, since uh, she's got a mother-like feel, it's uh, that's a bit of a relief. Uh, I'm really looking forward to living here. Room two hundred three. Room two hundred three. I search for my dorm room as I walk down the hallway. Ah, here it is, room 203. In front of the door, I took a deep breath and climbed and calmed myself down. Alright. The first impression is the most important. I pulled at both edges of my mouth to make a smile. I got uh, I've got to look really happy and friendly. I stretched my mouth with my fingers. Or why would you do that? As far as I could to make the biggest smile and knock on the door. You, you're you gonna look so fake. Excuse me. Come in. I really cheerful. A really cheerful voice came from within the dorm. <laughs> uh, with a gulp, I held my breath and entered. I'm coming in! I timidly opened the door and stepped uh, halfway into the room. Welcome. Uh, to be met by the girl living, uh, leaving her bed as if taking a great leap and dashing to me. So you're Debbie, right? Uh, yeah. I'm Amelia. Amelia Nell, your roommate. Nice to meet you. Totally not bad, man. The weather smoked cheerfully, grabbing my hand and shaking it. Up and down. Nice to meet you too. She's really not very feminine sounding. All right, come on in. Oh, thanks. Your bed and desk are over there. Oh, and you can put off your and you can put your stuff on this chest. Okay. So, what took you so long? <clears throat> I wanted. I was worried. The academy is so big, I got lost. Oh, I see. When I first came here, I was totally lost too. So, it was a long trip here, right? Yeah, but I had some fun. Ex 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 Events. Well, coming here. I got yelled at by the house mother, though. Fun events. Yeah, I met a boy earlier. Oh, how was he like? Yeah, uh, he had pink hair like cotton candy, and his name was um Randy Marsh. Randy Marsh, huh? Amelia put her hand on her chin, even though it was already there, and crooked her neck. I've never heard of that name. Oh really, but he was wearing this academy's uniform. Then maybe I don't know that person. I thought I knew most of them, but there are so many students here, so... Was that boy handsome? Okay. Okay, you guys. So, to get the most points for Randy, you gotta click, he was cute. But I clicked, he was eccentric, cause I would've, I, if someone told somebody that I was eccentric, I think I would like it. I'm not 100% sure what it means. But this is what I picked, so yeah. Yeah. He was 
was really eccentric. Next. Eccentric. Uh, I don't know how I can explain this, but he was really unique. Like what? Uh, he was really trying. He was trying to fly on a stuffed animal instead of a broom. With a stuffed animal. That's really. Uh... And that stuffed animal could speak and move. His name was Taffy, but he was used as an experiment equipment, and he was trying for that. Uh, that's uh, that speaking stuffed animal was awesome. Oh, really? I haven't heard of that kind of thing magic before. Uh, well, Randy was bizarrely unique. Bizarrely unique. But really, what a relief. No, no way. But really, what a relief. I was wondering what kind of roommate I'd get, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I was a bit worried. But you know... Ah, but you seem like a really nice, easy to talk to girl. Aw, thanks, you too! <laughs> thanks. I think I'll get I think we'll get along pretty well. Get out of my face, please. Yep, let's have a good semester. Ugh. Got her her voice! On my throat, oh my god. Uh, we took each other's hands and shook. We already shook hands. Good thing Amelia is my roommate. Oh, and Amelia. She also has her own actual name. Uh, I think we'll be great friends. Well, good night, Debbie. Good night, Amelia, in your weird voice. Uh, you got, we got into bed, we got into our beds and turned off the lights. Moonlight beamed through, uh, gently into the room, filling it with a dim blue. Boy, a lot happened today. Not really. Well, yeah, I guess so. But I hope, uh, but I hope my school life here will be fun. I closed my eyes as I thought about my life in the academy starting tomorrow. Oh, trailer! Okay, Lou. So what do you think about the new trailer, huh? It can't be helped. It's, it's so boring! Hold on, maybe I'm gonna play things with W next time. Using? I mean, we gotta do with every verse. Uh, what on earth are you talking about? How do I do one? Next chapter is your fun magic. That was it. Check journal. Read journal. About Taffy. Okay, you can pause this if you want. I'm not gonna read it. 